So, this was sent to me a couple of days ago for me to review. That's right. It's the world's hottest curry. What have I let myself in for? I mean, this was sent by a guy called Mohammed Karim, uh, who's the face of the Bindi restaurant chain uh, and the face of the Bindi uh, sauce company. This is called the Widower. Now, my wife has not been told what it's called because she'd probably have a heart attack. Like me when I've had this. This is the hottest curry sauce that exists in the world. All you need to do, go on uh, YouTube, type in the widow of curry and watch grown men fall to their knees and cry like little bitches of how hot this is. It's, uh, yeah, this is rated, I'd say it's rated about five and a half to six million Scovilles. If you think that's bad, let, let me just tell you what's actually inside. Okay, ingredients. Naga, chilli extract, fresh chillies, scotch bonnets, mixed pepper, onion, garlic, salt, water, plots and nuts of their lovely secret herbs and spices have gone into this. And it says, as seen on TV. Now, I do know, uh, because Mohammed told me today, that he has also done something on television uh, with Darth Naga, who I absolutely love, he's fantastic. And he said he cried like a bitch virtually. Can't wait to see that. I mean, you can't wait to see me cry like a bitch. Now, if you think I'm having shit go to this, you are having a laugh because I do not want to spend the next week on the fucking bug. Right. I am shitting it. Nice label. Very nice label, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, I do like the contrast of the actual black and the red colour. Labelling's all nice. Yeah. Why not put a nice, lovely label on a pot of death? <laughs> I think there's only one person in the world as well that's actually ever managed to eat this curry. And, uh, yeah. No one ever mentioned... Uh, how his insides were the day after, but we're going to give it a crack. Let me give this a smell. Oh, a hint of uh, death, yeah? Oh, that smells evil. Wow, I can actually see chunks of onions and... Oh my god, I can see chunks of... Uh, Big chunks of chilli and, and whatnot. This is not something you want to be buying for your everyday cooking. This is something you want to be buying to give your enemy as a practical joke. Wow. It's not like you'd ever cook with this, is it really? Seriously? Would you? Yeah, you would, because people actually eat at the restaurant. Oh my god, these people must be insane. Wow. Hold, hold on. Let me see what it says on the side. Important notice. Oh, I'd best get their glasses since it's important. The wives again. I don't know why everyone laughs when I put these on. <clears throat> right. Mm -hmm. It says contains naga and chili extracts. By opening or purchasing this jar for your consumption oh dear, oh dear may be detrimental to your health the world's hottest curry now in a jar well this is the world's hottest curry and this is not in a jar this is going to be in my belly not all of it, I'm just going to do a spoonful I am not looking forward to this Right, that's your lot, sort of having. There we go. Big fat spoonful. <sighs> Mohammed, thank you very much for sending me this sauce. Um, 
yeah, thank you very much for the pain that's going to pursue, the arse pain that's going to persist in the morning, and thank you very much. Just thanks. Five, four, three, two, one. No. Do you know what? This is actually one of the first times I'm proper nervous. Because I don't know whether you know, but the ingredients are always listed by uh, the first ingredient on a product is always what is it has got the most in, and the last is what has got the least in. So at the top it's got Nagi chili, 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 scotch body, chili, 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 chili. So I know that this is virtually pure chili with spices. Fuck it. Go on. Okay. That's it straight at the back of the throat. Lips are on fire. Evil. And you know what? I can actually still taste the curry and the herbs and spices and whatnot. Wow. That is intense. Well, like a spill speak. Link for the sources in the description, and all, all the links will be in the description that you need to know. This is actually bloody tasty as well. Wow, my lips are all tingling and burning on fire. I can't feel my tongue. But wow, it's quite tasty. That is a great product that you've you've actually created there, son. Great product, the widower. I'm still alive. Oh, wow, that's got a kick. Is that has got a kick and a half? To be honest, you know, I live in Birmingham. I love curries and I love curry sauces and whatnot. Even or not, I think I could handle that. Yeah, it's hot around my lips. I love the flavour. I think the only problem is, as soon as it hits your stomach, that'd go lovely with a peshwari naan. Wow, that is tasty. My nose is starting to run, excuse me. Oh. Do you know what? I said this, uh, on the, the, the other video I did the other day. You know something's tasty if you go back for seconds. But you also know if something's spicy and it's really spicy, you can't, but I can. I'm not called to go for fire for nothing, you know. I'm going back for more. Here you go. <sighs> Mohammed, sit me in front of a plate full of this and I'll have a bash. Wow. Mm. That is fantastic. Let's just put the lid back on. It's got a, don't get me wrong, it's got an evil, evil, evil nasty kick. That tastes fantastic. Wow. Okay, now it's getting hotter. Woo -hoo -hoo. I think the problem with that is, the more you have, the hotter it's gonna get. And right now, my lips are going not as bubble, 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 bubble. My tongue, I feel like I can't speak. <sighs> That's hot. It's hot. It's tasty. And it's delicious. Go and buy some. Link in the description. Go grab some. 
get in touch with the website, get in touch with Mohammed. You will not regret buying this sauce, trust me. Maybe in the morning. <laughs> Peace.